Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I'm Fresh Man Sale with two on with some Hades hey. too. Hey, the head wedge isn't busting your chops too bad, is she? What with you coming back here pretty often lately and all. I know headmistress can be very demanding. I'm sure she hopes I would have encountered more success by now, but she's been nothing but patient. Really? Well, I hope that sticks. We'll do our usual talking of everyone else as well, because we've got to do that I and get out of the way. what my sister Eris is doing here, but then they say, wheresoever goes doom, strife follows. Or the other way around, whether I like it or not. Has she been here long? She comes and goes from time to time, typically after some bloody battle between the forces of Kronos and Olympus. We first met a while back. Briefly trained together, though Headmistress soon gave up on her, as patient as she is. The fates gave up on her as well. Ordered that we never interact, that I not clean her messes anymore. Although sometimes she'll go to conversation out of me. I trust she hasn't made your lives too difficult? We've managed. That we have. Yeah. Yay, yeah, we get to talk to her now. We'll give a gift, though. We'll give the gift. Look, I do want you to feel welcome here and safe. It's not just something that we say. All of us have lost something here. May this gift of nectar show my words are true. Wow, made with real golden apples. Thanks, babe. You're the only one who's made a real effort to bring me into the fold. Say, why don't you take this? It isn't much, but I've been holding on to it in case I found a friend. Hmm. Oh, this really isn't necessary, but, um, thanks. I heard you went up top. Gotta breathe some fresh surface air. What made you go and do a thing like that? Thought you were single-mindedly going after Kronos. Figured that I might do well with a change of scenery for a bit. Though, I'm surprised you're not up there yourself, considering how things are. It does sound pretty exciting, but I'd probably just be getting in the way. From what I hear, Ares has things well in hand up there. Imagine being the god of war right now. You'd be thrilled. You probably would be. Family would be in peril. So, back on your feet, I see. But yeah, I mean, as far as this game goes, we do have a bunch of updates. Great Mother Gaia, listen to my heart's desire. Your intent was true. And I think they've upgraded like all sorts of different stuff as well, with a lot of different other upgrades. Whether I have them or not, I do not know. Hmm. Ooh, can gain armor that way as well. So yeah, there are reasons for me to kind of do more stuff and investigate. Last night, headmistress, I traversed a gate that led me to the depths of chaos, where I met its host. I've heard so much from you of Nyx, but somehow I never expected to meet her mother and father. Of all creation, not just her. An audience with primordial chaos. <laughs> I hadn't entirely expected that. Although, given that Nyx herself has not been seen since Kronos took the House of Hades, I am unsurprised. There is no fury like that of a parent bereft of their child. Does Chaos seem an ally to us, then? I believe so. Oh, Welcome, Lord Charon. <laughs> I shall, my lord. Until then, we each have our tasks to complete. Go around. Arrived. Complete all the other stuff here. that we needed. Moon dust now in stock. Buy all of those. Let's move on. Let's hey, do the talking. Uh, Eris is back. What did you do? Did you summon her? I saw you talking. <laughs> You're not remotely pleased to see your sister again. I don't have any more control over her than you do. Headmistress still is giving her the silent treatment, though. Ideally, Eris should be somewhere very far from here. Good thing this place is impossible to find. Otherwise, I'd half expect she would have led Kronos straight to us by now. You truly think a daughter of Nyx would betray us? I know Eris is a different sort, but still. Your father is a son of Kronos. How'd they get on? That's fair. Fair you point. This. How's life of laid down at the bottom of the sea? All sorts of nastiness lurking there, that the reports make clear. I wager you've seen something. You'd win that wager handily. 
The worst of them has to be this sea monstrous called Skilla and his siren friends. They have this ridiculous act. What, Skilla's still around? The sirens, no less? It's a wonder you made it back. Well, please tell me you didn't listen to a word they sang. <laughs> oh, I heard an earful. It's quite catchy as well, that's the worst bit. Kind of moss I need only grows on the surface. But yes, we shall plant lots of stuff, because that's what we need to do. And the mystery seeds. And I should be able to... Unravel the fateful bond. My blood is bound by fate, yet blood runs free. As it would spill upon the surface, I must be. You've done it. So now I should be all good to do a surface run, which is what the plan is. I know they've done some rebalancing of most of the stuff on here. So that's kind of interesting. Which I don't have the ability to equip anything new, so we'll just continue on. And we've also unlocked some of the aspects. Which I think they had that. We're going for the uh, torches this time round. Do we have any more aspects on the torches? Uh, Serenity's kind of meh. Hmm. That'd be interesting. But. Guess nothing to upgrade there. What's that one do? What else do we have here? You can counter, you deal, but take that much more. Hmm. Could be interesting, actually. But to be honest, I'd rather just like do the interesting thing. That one? Pick up the everlasting ember and let's go. Uh, pickaxe is what we want to go. We're running to the surface. Fear may spread. But if we're going to the surface, don't want to go and pick any of those because there's no point. Um, let's just jump straight up. Deep breath. So yeah, we're here mainly to get a bunch of resources. What have you got there? Ignium, is it? Reminds me of those twin torches that old Hecate would always have with her. If these are anything like those, they'll never putter out. But just in case, we'll keep them nice and hot. A uh, special cast. A cast into the Scorch. Whenever your attack or special deals damage, restore mana. That is pretty good, but... We're going to rarify something. We'll rarify that. Just go. I mean, the, 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 the restoring would be interesting, actually. And I like the fact they changed how some of these uh, boons work. It's kind of nice. Acceptable. So this is going to be a lot more interesting now. Because we're going to have like uh, more options to deal with. I don't know what all the buffs and the nerfs and the changes are. Because I haven't really looked at the patches yet. But... Hopefully it'd be quite good. I draw you down, O Moon, lending your light. I feel you closer to my light. You suppress that fate wrought curse that binds you to your realm. I was uncertain such a thing was possible. Yet you surprise me fairly often, little star. Hmm. Look forth. Healing beam. I guess we'll take the healing. Uh, your hex raises. Yeah, don't really care about that. We'll take the healing. Deep and persevere. Gap in the wall. Let's continue. For fear as main square. So what do we want to go for first? Now we get to kind of like run around and do whatever we want. I would like to get an attack boost and get scorched my attack if I can. Some sort of barrier. So we'll pick one of those up first. Now, I've kind of already done this. In that pylon there. Huh. Foes nearby, hey? Cutthroats. 
So we'll have a look at trying to deal with that. If we can, anyway. Because that's the main thing we want to do. It's great, like, doing that with the shades, because they literally just one-shot everything afterwards. I would like to pick that up, but, like, 30 is, like, great. I'd rather just take the mana gain. Flame of the hearth. Go, Freenos. You know? And then I could have actually picked it up and then picked now because it's an awkward phase. But anyway. Hmm. Part of the barrier is down. Must have been that pylon I destroyed. And then we'd keep doing that. So we run around, find pylons, and basically fix everything. Health could be interesting. Is there anything more up here? Aphrodite. Let's go for the health first. Be more interesting. But now that the fact that I can kind of gain mana by attacking. That's kind of interesting. We shall see the impact we'll get from that. And go in here. Maybe there's something in here we can get. It would be nice. Money. so loves his gold. But yeah. We're doing a surface run. See how it goes. See if we get lucky or not. Uh, increase my mana, please. I would like that. But, yeah, I mean, I've been uh, pretty busy over the last few days. Having to sort a bunch of stuff out for both personal and work stuff, so... Which doesn't mean too bad, but you know. Life doesn't like to make things easy if it can do. It'd rather make it more difficult. So I played catch up yesterday going through all stuff like that. Not a bad. Look carefully about. Pick stuff up. Is there anything else? Ooh, into the room. Nice. Okay. And a weapon. And a, an upgrade. Um, give me more mana per hit. Yes, please. I mean, my upgrading the Scorch could be nice, but it could mean that I have, like, unlimited shots on my um, alpha cast, which would be pretty good. Don't know. Don't know if the alpha cast actually still allows me to gain mana back. I'll have to have a look at that. Could be something interesting to figure out. It always costs three, so I guess I always lose three anyway, regardless if I want to or not. But I guess it means like less hits to get stuff back. We'll have to see. But yeah. I say, I'm always chilling. Just trying to relax. Do the usual stuff. Work's going well. Which is kind of nice. Unit does take up most of my time. Let's speak to Apollo. 
twin torches in hand, though yours don't seem to cast the customary kind of light. Truly, the more I learn of you, the more questions I have. Special sprint. After my alpha cast expires, hey? Yeah, I'll take that. Well, extra damage on my cast, and then if I alpha cast, it'd be pretty good. Plus, does continuous damage. I guess we'll go down here. Oh, I've got to see if I could have an upgrade somewhere on that. I don't know if that's dealing like a, a lot of damage or not. There he is. Everlasting Ember got ranked up again. You seem so very much alive. Upon the surface here, no less. You cured your curse somehow. Impossible. <laughs> Ash, yeah, we'll take the blitz here. That's absolutely fine. Dangerous power. Extra burst damage coming out is going to be a. Uh, really useful. And what else do we want? Should we take the weapon upgrade? Let's go for weapon upgrade. More. See if we can get as much out of it as possible. Mine all this. Uh, channel my special, channel my attack, and uses less mana. And it's faster. Yeah. Might as well take that. A quicker channel plus uh, extra bonuses. Pick that up. And I guess then we're going straight into our shop. Farewell, Athira. We got more boons and stuff, I didn't see any point. Now pick that up, pick this up. Here's the gold. Um, greetings, honored cousin. I'm here now with none other than the bringer of thunder and lightning, magnanimous king of Olympus, your great lord uncle, and my illustrious father, Zeus. <laughs> no, um, my niece and I are well past such a level of formality, my son. Though while we have the pleasure of her company, what say we show her how we put the light into lightning? <laughs> what I find hilarious, I guarantee you, he was the one that definitely caused him to say that. <laughs> uh, channel uh, 30, and then my other cast uh, repeatedly strikes foes. Yeah, we'll pick that up as well. My cast can be so good. You've come to aid me even here, Lord Charon. Though I imagine not even you can travel much farther where I'm headed. I won't forget your generosity. That's why I was thinking you won't be surprised. <laughs> you frighten my sheep. That's a real no no in this town. I apologize for my transgression, Cyclops. What do I owe you for the inconvenience? I can pay. Oh, you pay. The punishment's getting eaten alive by me. Sorry, I don't make the rules. That seems unusually strict. There's no use following a senseless code of law. <laughs> Only kidding. I do make the rules. And I get real tired. Only eating sheep. I know who That's a shame. you are. You'll eat the dust. That's like a primate for like, um... Even more. Interesting. I will heal here anyway, might as well get some heals off. And set it up with 45s. 
Uh, my brain is uh, not functioning still at the moment. I've had way too much focus with work and trying to concentrate on stuff today. Oh! We'll heal up. Heal up again there. Oh, really? I got hit there. Yeah, I'm still not used to this boss fight. Oh, good. I thought I was on the tomb of the hit there. But I know from this boss fight we get a reward that we need. Not really, asleep. Some more. All we did was knock him out. So before we do that, we pick up this. Might as well. And that. Nah, it probably didn't upgrade anything. Maybe it did. Who knows? But something got upgraded. A harbor. Yeah, prominence. Yeah, so cool. After after cast, rapidly deal damage over two seconds. And now, I think this is probably one of my favorite levels of the it's game when I got to it before. It's got a spectral gate. Take me away. This must have been the closest ship. I'll take it. That strange wheel. It's the fact that, yeah, like this, we can just, like, Bearing you know, it. take control of a ship. Drive it wherever you want. Practically one shot things is great. Oh, that does damage over time. Interesting. Guess I'll heal. That's an iron. Ooh. Gotta pick up my rewards. No, oh, still can't go anywhere. Um, don't really want mana anymore, do we? Because we're just gonna get mana back from attacking. So I guess we gotta take a level up. I guess it does put enough on there. Do fair amount of damage with the Scorch. So my cast is a pretty good effective tool now. Especially charging up, we can then recharge it up again to do even more damage. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know. I got a lot. I, These palms are even here. I always try and um, do as much as I possibly can. Do we keep increasing that? Nah, I think they have a strike. Upgrade right. that. I need to get off this ship. Move on to the next one. Yeah, but I'm trying to keep myself like way too busy, probably at the moment. But I'd rather be like way too busy than not too busy. I think that's probably the issue. Or at least part of it, definitely. You know? You'll regret this. Because I always find that I can't like just sit still and do nothing. Happy doing something. You know, 
which probably coincides with many different conditions and everything else as well. But as far as I know, I'm a normal person. <laughs> but yeah, I generally cannot sit still for more like five minutes. Hmm. Ooh, some extra gold. My alpha cast costs less. The Omega cast. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'll take that. Here we go. Uh, flames, flames. Because if I can get this Scorch on my attack still, I'll take that over what I've already got. Because it'll be a lot better in the long run. You see? Special. Eh. I guess the sprint to block like two projectiles could be pretty good. To the next vessel. Very interesting the type of um, mixture of abilities that are coming available now. Actually, I do like it. They seem a lot more berry compared to what they were before. Oh, so me actually doing that actually kills them. Interesting. Yeah, so it actually will also reduce the cost of the other one as well. That's pretty good. Continue on. Ooh, boss fight. Or mini that boss fight, I guess. There's no mistaking it. We'll be careful with the amount of damage I take. That's pretty big though, like the reduction in damage that I get. You have to be careful, I don't want to die again because that would be a nightmare. So we'll heal up. That took a lot out of me. There we go. Cool. It's interesting to have such thing like a big mini boss. Ships trudging this way, Witchy. Multiple already sunk before, however many times. They and their dead crews keep coming back to want us. Now that's some dedicated service, eh? Uh, specials do that. So we gain armor at every location by prime some mana. Mission counts become pervious. Uh, might as well take that actually. Volcanic flourish might make use my special a little bit more. And into a shop. The black flagship. Hi, Caron. <laughs> your service. It's fortunate the underworld boatman's still plying his trade even during a downturn such as this. I trust his prices have gotten better at least. Or perhaps worse. 
We've seen a lot of Apollo today, haven't we? Um, cast expanding size. Yes, please. Seems we've got a cast built anyway. Take the mana, hit the bones. And I guess we'll continue on. Because it's just going to make all my cast stuff like just so much better as well. Plus it'll always like trap stuff in there and all those sort of things. Go this way. Who's next? And I guess now we'll just um, try to hide from everything. There we go. I would need more healing, though. That's the only problem I've got currently. Ooh, another shop, is it? I just saw you a moment ago. <laughs> uh, lightning bolts could strike one more time. Primary location, deal lightning damage. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that then. No getting used to that. And we are upgrading. I think the su sprint will actually be pretty good here. Because extra block of like two more projectiles. Because I know what this fight is coming up. And I am not a fan of it. Hey Sailor! What a coincidence running into you like this so far away from home. Where are you headed? Maybe I could give you a lift. Would be nice. I know perfectly well where I'm headed, and I can get there on my own, thanks. You sure about that? Because it looks like you've been having a pretty rough night so far, and it's only going to get worse. I don't care for your insinuations here, Eris. Speak plain, or get out of my way. Oh, I'll speak plain. You're boring, I don't like you, and you don't get to order me around. <laughs> Heads up! She's very annoying. I do like the fact they've given us some ways to hide. Didn't have that before. Catches the end, I guess, of that. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to get in the fight. Yeah, that's so annoying. The fact that, like, She doesn't like, uh, seems to, uh, take that much difference and just keeps increasing in damage is so unfair. Like, how? <laughs> oh, that's so annoying, a boss fight. I haven't mastered that one yet. I will get to it eventually with practice, but. Uh. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. But yeah, I think that's the end of this run. A fairly quick one overall. But again, yeah, if you enjoyed these videos, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.